All right, day one. We got our spot at Bear Lake Trailhead. Hi. Day one at Bear Lake. About to get started. Our four days begins now. We got Tyler, Jason, Blake, and me. We're heading to Flat Top Mountain. The obligatory Bear Lake at sunrise. A short four miles left to Flat Top Mountain. About two and a half miles into the trip, halfway up to Flat Top Mountain. The younger ones are going faster than the older ones, trying to keep up. We definitely shed all the crowds down at Bear Lake. Haven't seen anybody. Just past 11,000 feet. So the trees are starting to thin out and we're about to get to the tundra. Still feeling good so far on day one. All right, when are you gonna say something inspiring and thought provoking? <laughs> there you go. That's pretty. All right, we've definitely made it into the tundra. I see Little Sullivan about to crest that hill. We got Blake going. Past the fellow who said there's a uh, ptarmigan chicks this time of year, so keeping our eyes peeled for some. Ptarmigan. We're almost to 12,000. Beautiful blue skies. Thinking our route is up that way. Give me something inspiring. We're almost there. Nice. Up the mountain. The mountain's calling. It is. And we must go. The bad one was calling too. Uh oh. That 14 of Rito. So we just passed the junction for the Tanahutu in the North Inlet. We took the Tanahutu up at Flat Top Mountain. And Ranger Hannah was not kidding. It is windy, windy up here. Got the raincoat. That gator on it. Wind. There's Hella Peak in the background. Try to get that on Thursday. He's flying. My majestic bird.
Tyler with Sading. He self arrested. Okay. Go ahead, Blake. There he goes. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was going kinda. Yeah. Oh, that's so painful. <laughs> there it is. Don't hit me. Oh, okay. <laughs> You were moving. I was kind of moving there. Oh, it's stuck in my butt. This is along the Tanahutu Trail. Making our way down to, I don't know, Porcupine Point or something like that. Ptarmigan Point. We just kind of had a failed attempt at pulsating that snow field. Maybe we'll find a steeper one later. We got an adorable little yellow belly marmot. Thinking about attacking Blake. Yeah, he is. Start walking. It looks like a capybara or whatever. Chupacabra? Chupacabra. An Australian uh, capybara. He is not concerned about no. this. It's like a skunk and a wolverine and a... What a perfect home he has. I mean, he's that's... perfectly suited to him. <laughs> I agree. What'd you find? Okay. I don't know if I can capture it on the video, but we totally thought it was people screaming over here. It sounded like banshees, just the wind whistling through. Just passed up the Tanahutu camp at Tanahutu Meadows. Probably have maybe a couple miles left to get to our camp. And we met some folks that camped there last night. And they said there were quite a few moose. So it would be spectacular. If I can get Blake to see a moose after we struck out last year in Iowa right now.
We made it to the top of Granite Falls. This is Tanahutu Creek. Dipping the feet in that cold water. It's real cold. Ooh. Feels good. So we're down here trying to find some shade, cooking dinner. And from the other side of these rocks, there are, how many, Blake? Four or five. Four or five moose. Cool. I'm thinking they're far away enough that we don't need to move. Moose! Why would you think that's a good... Where's a tree I can get behind? That one maybe? That's a big tree. That's a big boy. He's still coming. I know. Go the other way, dude. What do you, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Stop. He's still. Hey, where's the bear spray? They're probably working on me. Morning of day two. We have some visitors. They're so close. To greet us. I hope they don't like instant coffee. I'm still in my tent. Quite a view from the tent. <laughs> you just get in there and hide. <laughs> I'm trying to think how how fast I get to Blake's tree. <laughs> oh, the worst that I'm like duck down crouching. Then. Oh boy. I don't see the male anymore. Are they moving on? I think it's huh? from the are they moving on or are they still coming up? Oh, they're the female. You see the female? I see the female. I don't see the male. He's right to, to the right of her. No, stay there. Don't come any closer. Oh my god. She's the problem. Closest Jason's ever been to using that spray. I thought for sure they were gonna come into the campsite. Someone's gonna get out the pee and <laughs> have a hook in their face. Those are big animals. Packing up for the day two hike. Got about 13 miles, maybe 14. How you guys feeling? Good. Nice. How'd you sleep last night, Blake? Pretty good. Cold? Yeah, a little cold. Let me Exciting video. People crossing a oh, yeah. bridge. You can go high or low. Choosing which way they want to go. Tells you about their personality. 20 bucks he goes in the wood. All right, you're on. Keep walking. Which way is he gonna go? God <laughs> yeah. damn it! What? You just won twenty dollars for your son. <laughs> yeah. Is the challenge if I go over or under? Yep. Yep. Oh! You were the only one that went under. <sighs> Walking along the Tanahutu Creek. A lovely Tuesday morning.
Do you think they have a contract with the MPS? Yeah, they're really chained down here. <laughs> Big Meadows. That's what she said. <laughs> Foraging along the trail. Some raspberries. Trying to make our way to the junction of Tanahutu and North Inlet. I think we got about a half a mile left. Gonna take a break there. Hopefully, hit some toilets and pump some water before we head on up the North Inlet Trail. Chase is performing a surgery that is filtering water so as to not get giardiasis. Gotta keep it clean, clean, and the dirty, dirty. Three man job. Now we're a couple miles into the North Inlet Trail. First couple miles were just kind of a dirt road. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of burned trees in this area. We're looking to try to take a break at Cascade Falls. A couple miles. And eventually get to our camp four miles away. Grouseberry. Made it to Cascade Falls. Three miles to camp. Take a little break here. Cascade Falls. Don't fall, Blake. Where's he going? Is that the trail? Hey, be careful! Hey! <laughs> Just past the big pool, headed up to Grouseberry. More uh, cascades. Look at that. Nice little swimming hole. Oh, I stop for a second and I lose him. Blake's faster than me on the ups. And he's ready to be done for the day. He's trucking. stuff crammed into the bear vault which has to be stored quite a good distance away from camp
This is Grouseberry campsite. So morning of day three, we're at Grouseberry having breakfast. Sullivan's have breakfast some breakfast skillet. skillet. Looks pretty good. Let's see what you got. Nice. Actually smells pretty good. Got oatmeal. Oatmeal with some uh, almond, almond butter. butter. Pretty good stuff. Might have heard some creature behind our camp last night. Didn't see anything though. Maybe. We're ready for action though. Got the spray ready. Yep. Throwing rocks. Blake and I were watching Anchorman, so we didn't yep. hear anything. But Ron Burgundy, stay classy. What do you guys think of the trip so far? Pretty good. 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 Yeah. Lots of wildlife. Lots of moose. Lots of moose. No bear. This is the trip of the moose. I got kicked in the face a number of times last night. Blake. There's a strange odor going through camp too. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that's from. Sulfur? Could be feet, could be yeah. other miscellaneous. I feel pretty good now. So we're leaving Grouse Ferry and we're going to head to Lake Nanuta today. Hopefully it's uh, as pretty as Ranger Hannah said. And shade. And shade, yes. Tyler. Shade is good. I want shade. And day three begins. <laughs> Grouse Ferry to Porcupine. Real short day. Set up camp and then a light day hike up and down to Lake Nanita. I'm feeling pretty good this morning. How about you, Blake? I'm feeling good. Had a nice hearty breakfast. Lazy morning. Made it to Porcupine Camp already. It's on the other side of this North Inlet Creek. It's early. So we're gonna set up camp, take light packs on up to the Alpine Lakes. We set up camp at Porcupine Backcountry Site, and now we are going to take our little day trip to some Alpine lakes. This campsite is absolutely splendid. It's in some shade right next to the creek. It's wonderful. Couldn't ask for anything more. Heading up to Lake Nanita. Three base locks. That's what she said. This is easy. I'm only gonna get to the hard part. Nice, steady, up. With some switchbacks. Very pretty hike. I recommend. Now we made it to our first beautiful alpine lake, Lake Nanita, perhaps. Oh, look at that.
that is beautiful. Did you say it's all right? Blake and I are making our way to the next of the Alpine lakes. I don't know the name of it, but the route is gorgeous. Jason and Tyler are taking a little siesta back at the other lake. Okay, um, hi there. Uh, I just want to say something. Ryan and Ken, if you're watching this right now, um, you are going backpacking with us, whether it be next year over summer break or spring break, anywhere, anytime. Uh, but you are coming with us. All right. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. Yeah. It's more fun with you guys. But, uh, yeah, you're coming next time. Look at that view. You want to miss out on that? I mean, come on. No. Blake's hitting the switchbacks. So am I. On down to the next lake. Yeah, they are. Heading back to camp after our day trip up to the Alpine Lakes. It's much easier going down than it was coming up. Looking forward to our evening at that very comfortable porcupine camp right next to the river or creek. Made it back. Home sweet home. Porcupine. Dessert tonight, creme brulee. Yum. In the middle of our euchre game. Hey there. We got somebody who wants to join us. He thinks it's Bigfoot. I just saw him. You need to shave your legs if you want to be more ladylike. Oh, what? She gave you the stink eye. <laughs> what if I hide behind the pole? You don't think you're attacking? Then I'm gonna get up and go somewhere else. <laughs> Good morning, little friends. How are you? Adorable. Morning four, last day, 
leaving Porcupine, we're going to head up uh, Flat Top Mountain, maybe do Hallett Peak, see who's, who's man enough to do Hallett Peak, and then uh, go down to Bear Lake, call it a trip. Hallett Peak be easy. Hallett Peak would be easy. I think the biggest problem is going to be putting our packs and watching for rodents. Marmots and such. Good stuff. It's I do like the first trip. It was nice. It was nice. Yeah, a lot of wildlife. A lot of, a lot of moose, deer. Um, that, that, that first night sucked though. Yeah, this campsite's the best. Yeah, this, this whole north inlet is great. Porcupine to the right. Yeah. What'd you think, Blake, your first time in the mountains back there? That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. About an hour into the climb up back to Flat Top Mountain. We're taking care of the spider webs for you. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. How you doing? Hi. Only a mile or two or eight left. Okay. Uh, stop, bears. Almost there. I feel like a cheeseburger. Wildflower heaven. Yeah. These look like bluebells. To cap off the wildflowers in Colorado, see some beautiful columbine. Daunting climb. But look at him go. Proud of you, Blake. Just hit 11,500 feet in elevation. It's quite a climb, but couldn't ask for a better day. It's a beautiful morning. Go. Yeah. Back at that creek crossing, a thousand feet down. I said almost there. I was wrong. Now we're almost there. Look at this lovely scene. Those flowers. Little babbling brook. We're almost to the top. Pass is, I believe, between those two cars. So yesterday we camped down there and we hiked to Lake uh, whatever. Nanita? Nanita and then to the next lake and then down and then down to camp and then up here. 
I think that's Ptarmigan Mountain or Ptarmigan Peak back there. What a beautiful backdrop. All right, well, here we are at the junction of Flat Top Mountain and Hallett Peak. So here is what we've been looking forward to doing for the last four days. We're gonna try to get to the top of Hallett Peak. Let's go. Hallett Peak, we made it to the tip. That's what she said. Hiring now. Nothing? No, I didn't say it loud. There's the longs. I brought your parachutes. They may run out. Yeah, if your wingsuits. Ah, we made it. Find the benchmark. What's up, little pika? So we just got done doing Hell at Peak, got back to our packs. And now for the long down Bear Lake. Yeah. Two bacon cheeseburger appetizers. It's gonna be glorious. Now my whole stomach is growling thinking about it. That's good. Such a pretty spot. Awesome hike. Beautiful. Beautiful trip. Alright, let's give me some moon. We're still going fighting all you. We just came from there. Now we get to play on this refreshing snow field. Jesus. Another backpacking adventure in the books. And it's cold. Not freezing, but it's cold. <laughs> 